So um, a, a classic example of habitat fragmentation, habitat destruction, <clears throat> we're here in the English Turn region um, in southern Louisiana uh, in the city of uh, New Orleans, on the edge of the city of New Orleans. This should all be closed canopy bottomwood uh, hardwood forest, bottom hardwood forest, I should say. <clears throat> but this uh, development started going in 1970. So carved up, cleared the marsh, cut it all up, and now that um, woodland has been lost. If we look over here, you see what what it would have been like if we had not chopped it down. And if we, and if we have a look down, down this uh, uh, road, you will also see how tall it is, right? So, so mo most, most of the trees are taller than telephone poles, right? So it's, it's a good size canopy, should be closed forest. Um, and once this development go went in, we started to see a lot more development. So as we go down these roads, you'll see a lot more small parcels so first, first the big chunks are sold in the small chunks and nothing happens. And then people start to come in and clear something. And then once they clear that, then the neighbor next to them wants to clear that. And so starting with this, so the fragmentation always starts with something. It's usually a road, um, but that road then leads to the first development and the second development comes in on the heels of that. And the next ones follow usually on a increasingly rapid um, uh, timeline. And then pretty soon the whole area is heavily tweaked. One road, not a problem. One house, not a problem, but we don't seem to do that. We, we do one road that leads to many. We do one uh, piece of development that leads to a huge city. And that's why we lose this biodiversity because we're losing the outright area as well as we're, we're separating the remaining areas um, by um, human development. So fragmentation bad, uh, development not good for biodiversity.